Her documentary, This Changes Everything, will be in select theaters Friday and on demand August 16th. Let's take a look. Whenever I had a meeting in Hollywood, I'd say, have you ever noticed how few female characters there are in movies made for kids? So that's when I decided, if I'm going to change this, I need the data. I didn't know, but um, it was because when my daughter was a toddler, I, I sat her down to watch preschool shows and videos and things. And the very first thing I watched, I noticed there were far more male characters than female characters. And I thought, you know, in the 21st century, surely by now we should be showing kids that boys and girls share the sandbox equally. And it is proof that gender inequality was fixed. And it was because it was an important character. Right. Like, uh, uh, well, uh, very often people say, well, there's been Belle. And then after League of Their Own, it was like, there's going to be so many more sports movies with women. <laughs> and we know how many of those have come out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> past 25 years. And, but then every five years or so, something comes out. Hunger Games comes out, whatever. Well, now, everything is different now. And it never is. I couldn't even say, well, in 500 years, we'll reach parity, because it's, there's none. It's so incremental as to. There's nothing. There's no progress <laughs> at all. It's not even glacial. I figured out that uh, for the on-screen representation, the data really is the magic key because they had no idea. I mean, they knew they're they were making fewer movies with a female lead character, but when you talk about the body of the movie is nearly empty of female presence, they're like, "Wow, what did I do? Why did I do that?" And so they want to make the change, but uh, but behind the camera seems like a completely different problem because everybody has known for decades how few female writers, directors, and producers there are. And nobody said, what? What am I doing? I must change this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm shocked. <laughs> you know? They're like, no, I know I don't hire women. <laughs> I'm probably going to keep doing that. <laughs> and we lost Penny Marshall, who, you know what, again, when you look, talk about representation, that film really had it, uh, you know, it was Penny Marshall's movie and, right. uh, you know, a, a obviously a female-driven film. Uh, what, were, what are your memories of that film and, and working with Penny and, and that cast? It was terrific fun to have, uh, to be with so many women. I mean, it's so unbelievable rare. The weird thing is almost every interviewer who came to the set asked so is there a lot of cat fighting going on? Is there a lot of meow meow? And I'm like what century are you from? What is wrong with you? I want to say this is really exciting you're getting uh, the Gene Harsholt uh, humanitarian Oscar. Uh, <laughs>